at some point, you will most likely have heard construction products being described as A1, non-combustible, A2, of limited combustibility, or B to F, combustible. These labels relate to the mandatory reaction to fire classification in the UK for products with a harmonised product standard, HEN. But how is this assessed? To CE mark a construction product as is legally required for construction products with HEN, products must be classified through the Euroclass system. The Euroclass system was introduced to harmonise standards across the EU. It categorises products into one of seven reaction to fire classes, ranging from A1, non-combustible, down to F, the worst performing class in terms of combustibility, using a defined test or combination of tests. It also provides additional classification, typically associated with reaction to fire classes A2 through to D, for smoke production, from S1, little or no smoke, to S3, substantial smoke, and flaming droplets and particles from D0 none to D2 quite a lot. The Euroclass system uses the following four tests. EN ISO 1182 non-combustibility test. This is a small scale test designed to assess whether a product will contribute towards a fire. EN ISO 1716 determination of the gross heat of combustion calorific value. This is a small-scale test designed to calculate the total heat release of a specimen when burned completely. EN 13823 Single Burning Item SBI Test This is an intermediate-scale test based on ISO 9705 Part 1 Room Corner Test for Wall and Ceiling Lining Products. EN ISO 11925 Part 2 Single Flame Source Test Ignitability Test this is a small-scale reaction to fire test designed to determine the ignitability of a vertical product specimen when exposed to a small flame. Here you can see a summary of the primary classifications within the Euroclass system. To assess and classify products achieving a Euroclass A2 through to D for smoke production and A2 through to E for flaming droplets, the SBI test criteria summarised in the table should be followed. For more information about the testing methods outlined in this video, visit our website and search hashtag the facts matter.